Turkey is a NATO member country fighting Daesh hand-to-hand -hand in the field. On Sunday, Turkey's National Intelligence Organization neutralized Abu Hussein al-Qurashi, the leader of the Daesh terror group in Syria. I want to announce a good development which shows our determination in our fight against terror groups. Our national intelligence organization had been following the leader of the Daesh terror group, Abu al Hussein al Karashi, for a long time. This person was neutralized as a result of an operation by the Turkish National Intelligence Organization in Syria. We will continue our fight against terror groups. Al Qurashi became the fourth leader of the terror group after his predecessor was killed in an operation conducted by Free Syrian Army, a group backed by United States. The operation was conducted in the Tenef area in southern Syria at the end of last year. Since its formal defeat in Iraq in 2017 and the significant loss of territory in Syria since 2015, Daesh's operations has continued largely underground. Turkey predicts that the group could gain strength in Syria. Indications are that PKK and YPG terror groups may be fighting alongside Daesh in north of the country. The YPG PKK is known to have released Daesh terrorists from camps under its control in exchange for cash. In order to fight these terrorist organizations simultaneously, Turkey had to undertake a series of cross-border military operations. First of them was against Daesh. And with this operation, Turkey neutralized, Turkish armed forces neutralized uh, thousands of Daesh militants. And that was arguably... Uh, although it wasn't acknowledged um, widespread, it was the beginning of the end of Daesh organization's territorial control in northern Syria. In 2015, Turkish jets started the bombardment of Daesh-controlled areas in Syria. Turkey carried out 5,855 operations against Daesh between 2014 and 2021. 1,200 Daesh members were captured and 4,000 square kilometers of territory in Syria cleared. Daesh has carried out terror attacks against Turkish targets within its territory and abroad. 309 Turkish civilians and security personnel have been killed and 1,338 injured in bombings and gun attacks. Foreign Minister Çavuşoğlu says Turkey has disabled the financial structure of Daesh, but Turkey believes that coalition partners in the global fight against terrorism should take a more active role and guarantee an effective exchange of intelligence. Sena Saylan, TRT World.